introducing a Pythonic course RBAC API. Why? Okay, so um, a couple years ago, I was on a customer integration project and we were asked to produce a web a API for user and group management using Python. I'm a Java developer, C, C++, I'd never done Python before. And uh, so that was an opportunity to learn a new language, which was cool. And uh, Python was fine. I mean, you got to get over the tabs, I guess. But other than that, it's fine. And so, um, yeah, and then there was this huge demand for an RBAC Python API, and people were flooding me from all around the world. No, not really. Um, um, I got injured in March of 2018. I tore my right bicep off my forearm. And uh, so, and I don't know if you guys know, I'm a kind of a cyclist, and so I, I ride a lot. So this is a, that's a, uh, a map of um, a log of my training. So if you see a bunch of zero miles on weeks, then there's going to be a corresponding increase in commits in GitHub. Because um, while I was waiting for surgery and I had surgery and had to have the muscle reattached to my forearm, <laughs> um, I was kind of going crazy. And so I had to do something. So I was like, you know, had to figure out something to do. So I figured out a way to prop my arm up like that. My, and then I could type. And so I. I did it. And so I created in a month, I basically uh, did an RBAC implementation in Python. And I blogged about it. And, uh, you know, of course, these guys, you know, again, RBAC, right? I'm not going to go into all that again. So, what does it do? Um, back to that diagram of the fully compliant RBAC system, it doesn't do the full gamut of the, you know, just implemented the RBAC zero. And so just th this set of APIs for RBAC zero, admin, review, system, um, these APIs. And so it's in my GitHub account. It's called PyFortress. Uh, a little bit about it. Um, you know, access control APIs for Python. Uh, of course, it requires an LDAP server. We started with a file back in, just kind of, but we didn't finish it. So, works with the usual suspects of LDAP servers. Uh, it's published to PyPy as PyFortress. It uses LDAP 3 as the, as the um, LDAP uh, client which is what we were using on the customer uh, project. And uh, compliant with um, Insights 359 RBAC 0. Sponsored by Simus. They didn't really have any choice. I mean, I was doing it. And they said, yeah, we'll sponsor it. Um, released under Apache 2.0. So you're welcome to check it out, change it, use it, whatever. Uh, the data format, it's compliant with the project I talked to you about yesterday, which is Apache Fortress. It uses the exact same schema, of course. Uses the exact same error IDs, so the exceptions that it throws will be the, exactly the same. Um, it's compliant with the management interfaces of Fortress, so Fortress has a web UI, it has a RESTful API, and you can add users and policies with Fortress and and then you can check them with PyFortress. And just to kind of show you a little bit more, I think I got some time, right? Okay. Well, I won't need that much. So yeah, here's the project. It's in my GitHub account, PyFortress. 
So if you go to the landing page, I spent quite a bit of time on documentation. Um, there's a, a, you know, a guide for the, that describes how the APIs work. There's a guide, there's, it has a command line interface. Python's quite nice for that. So um, I'm just looking at the APIs. Um, so yeah, the admin, the access manager APIs. So um, here's what create session looks like. It's just a Python API that does ANSI Insights 359, check access, session permissions, the admin APIs if you need to add a user, update, add a role, assign a user. Um, they're all there. Grant a permission. The review APIs are there. Um, yeah, so there's also a command line interface. So from the from the command line, you can do all those APIs. It, it basically drives those same APIs. So um, like there's user add. User mod, user delete, user assign, user deassign, role add, role mod, role delete, so on and so forth. So, um, so why would you need that? That'd be like a system administrator wanting to set up somebody. Um, and then there's also um, uh, you can you can also use the command line interface to test the policy, test um, or to do the policy um, review. So. That's basically it. Um, yeah, there's my contact info. Any questions about it? Yeah? Thank you.